Once again, good morning, good afternoon, good night. It depends your time and your location. You are joining us at Eastern News 24. As in Kobo Sinkata, Manana, Yemma, Ise, Ise, Ise. All right, so when I come up on you also, you're going to, if I were no boss in Kata, Yelika, Managi, Wolen, Yan, Kijin, and Kijin, Gona, Gana, or Fumo Fuma. All right, um, Nabo, Odio Kripi, Jerry Gobo, a gay or Fumo Fuma. He are one of our own, Tifla Fellow, was Riki Gente, Kini Foku, Basata Makana, and the Kanus ladies. And so I'm so much happy. When I do because see, Nando Zoka Putaka, they could go to us Because listen, a whole in Libya, a whole in Libya, a good name will issue. I got a concern. You were one at the end of the end point. Our goal is to achieve Jafra. That is what I'm trying to tell you people. Our our own, our game, our the end point. Everybody will be after a culture. So if other people are going to have to go to us, we going to make sense. And it will bring a unity. And the Nigerian government will be confused. All right, keep up on your schedule. All right, over to you, sir. I went there from both the social media and the Nigerian government. And I went there Bet for apology from Nigerians. More than 400 members of Boko Haram apologized to Nigerians. Many people did not understand the went. That means that the federal government wants to release this Boko Haram. They may have been released by now. They are not terrorists because they have been for apology. They have asked Nigerians that they are sorry. They are no more terrorists. They may have been released by now as I'm talking to you. The federal government was looking for an excuse to release them. But now the camp is in detention. A competent court in Nigeria, the court of appeal for that matter, ordered for his release. But the federal government doesn't want to release him because he's an evil man. He's the only terrorist in the whole world. Then you have to strike. Okay, strike the fact that IPOB is a terrorist uh, organization. Boko Haram is not. They beg for apology. And they must be released. Someone, the court of competent jurisdiction in Nigeria, court of appeal, ordered for his release, is still in detention. Nobody talks about him. You people are pushing us to the war. You are pushing the people to the war. We don't want to fight any war again. Is it by force to fight war? We say no. I know by how far we are trying to persuade these guys. Persuade them. Please stop violence. Violence is not good. At times they label us saboteurs that we have been giving money, we have been paid, that we are working on the side of the government. But the government fails to do the right thing. What does it take the federal government to grant Nandi Khan bail, even if you don't want to leave him? I can stand as shorty. I'm not a senator. You can say uh, a senator cannot be arrested, or a governor, a governor has immunity, uh, he cannot be arrested if Nandi Khan uh, escapes. 
I can take him as a guarantor. If you release him, he runs away. Come and arrest me. I'm here in Nigeria. I can forfeit all my assets in that regard. Seize all my property. But release, that's if you release him, he runs away. Arrest me. Let me take his position. Let me be detained. Let me be tried. Seize all my property. He has no reason to be there. You cannot use the Supreme Court to deceive us. If the Supreme Court is serious, they would have tried him since then. But you can't use the Supreme Court to delay or deter an innocent person. He's an innocent person. Then they are telling us, bringing the picture of Boko Haram members who have apologized. Who speaks for Nandi Khan? Is in DSS dungeon. Is it where he will apologize? I have been in that dungeon before. It's not a, it's worse than hell. That's why somebody has stayed for almost close to two years now. It's very unfair. Someone, an evil man, is asking Tinubu to release him down the can. Was Tinubu the person that arrested him down the can? Why should him down the can be there? After Buhari has left. Buhari was the person that arrested him down the can. He should be the person to, to release him down the can. Buhari should not leave that place without releasing him down the can. Nam the can has no business with Tinubu. It was not Tinubu that went to Kenya to adopt Namikan. It was uh, Buhari. Buhari is the person that was releasing Namikan before he leaves office. I don't know what is really happening. You want to elongate Namikan's stay in detention by begging Tinubu, who had not been sworn in. That is why at times I look at people I love. Many of our problems are caused by our people. Instead of asking to make sure you may listen and become before you go, we are shifting it to Tinubu. I want to let some people know. The worst set of people that will want to now become to be released. The last set of people that will want to now become to be released are the evil politicians. Moreover, they got the so-called governors. Not all of them will. But the, those you think are your friends that love you are their worst enemies. They are your worst enemies. How can somebody ask an incoming government who has not even taken position to release somebody arrested and detained by another government? Why can't that government release him? What is it? Does Buhari have to detain Namikan when a court of competent reason has asked for his release? Then an evil man is coming out to say, please, uh, uh, Tilimbu, we congratulate you. There is Namikan when you are sworn in. What has Tilimbu got to do with Namikan? Then when he comes into office, uh, another missionary will be set in place to release Namikan. When Buhari to ask the Attorney General to bring that on the canon according to the dictates of the Court of Appeal. If Buhari could respect the decision of the Supreme Court in the Niagara, whatever, redesign or swap, why can't you obey the, 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 the dictates of the Court of Appeal to release the Namikan? Because he followed the rule of law. In the case of Ronald Khan, he, he, he forgets to follow the rule of law. It's injustice. It's injustice. And that's what I'm thinking about. And that's what, what I have been talking about. But some of the people who say they are clamoring for the other don't even understand anything. I don't know. When you push people to the wall, they say they don't want to fight. We have fought before. We don't want to fight again. We want peace in Nigeria. 
Still, you want to humiliate us. You want us to fight by all means. Please, I'm just making this video for this purpose. Buhari, please, I take God, baby. Make sure you release him the can before you leave office. Make sure you release him the can before you leave office. You have no reason. You have no reason whatsoever to, to leave him behind while you, you leave office. If you can obey the Supreme Court over the Niagara, whatever, you have to obey the Court of Appeal over the demand and the instruction to release the Nandika. Nandika should not wait for Tinubu. Tinubu has no, no business with Nandika. On the issue of Lagos, what people are going through in Lagos? I just they laugh. I just they laugh. I saw one MC or Lomo or whatever they call him showing power. I just they laugh. We have tested this thing before. This guy like when one they do, when they wanna start, when it starts, no one go beg for peace. It's only federal government that can challenge us in Nigeria when it comes to the Bible. No other, no other tribe. So this thing we are doing in Lagos, humiliating people, pursuing them, wounding them, fighting them, because we have never reacted. When we push us to the wall, now you go beg for peace. This Olowo and the MC Olowo and his clerk or friends who are doing all this. Now from corner, where is the hide? You will be preaching for peace. Now you go run away. I know who people are. When we bang back, now you go run away. Now you go cry. That your Lagos, your leg will not talk to you. I know how we are pacified our people. Cool down. Cool down. We are not cowards. We are warriors. These are the two things I said I should say this afternoon. Nigeria, you are pushing in the to the war. We don't want to fight any war again. But if you control the push us to the war, no problem. Thank you.